don't know if you can see this, but the little spider, his family, his squad, has been living on my bike. I think since I bought the bike. There it is right there. <laughs> I never kill him or anything. I just wait for him to get back on the handlebar. Come on. There you go, little guy. So, for some reason, I pulled an all nighter last night. I don't know why. I got into, uh. Don't tell Penny this. But I got into looking at other bikes. I was checking out Buell's. So, I guess we'll theme this. Was that a voice crack? So I got, we got Atlantis more set. <laughs> so I guess we will base this theme around uh, the job that I have now and the jobs I've had previously. Uh, I'm a server. I've been a server for about three years. Um, it's cool. It's a nice little gig for somebody in their, you know, early to mid to late 20s. So yeah, I've done that for a while. I was at the Fort Worth Zoo for a long time. Um, former lead supervisor of the monkey breeding we had a program that we had up there uh, basically my job was to measure the males and set them up with the correct depth females uh, just so that they had you know both parties had a decent time and it was more strictly business like if they weren't done within 10 seconds I had to give them a warning and or remove the male and uh, if you've ever tried to remove a male monkey uh, it's, it's pretty tough. It's a very tough job, but uh, I really enjoyed it To tell you the truth on what happened with some of that um, I started accepting bribes um, The bigger monkeys wanted to get hooked up with the smaller monkeys um, And I so I started to accept the bribes. I mean there were good bribes things that the monkeys found um during the uh, Halloween time, a lot of the kids would throw Twix bars and Reese's bars. I got bribed with, you know, candy bars. Uh, for the most part, the general currency was bananas. They would leave me a cage number on a piece of paper and a pack of bananas. And, you know, just off the books, I would set them up, the bigger monkeys or the smaller monkeys. I realized that I made a mistake. Uh, because the smaller monkeys weren't pleasuring the deeper monkeys. Well, the big monkeys were just ransacking the smaller monkeys. And uh, they were taking a long time to mate. So you have bored female monkeys, um, sad small monkeys, big monkeys whose egos were getting even bigger, and these poor little monkeys that were getting ransacked. What led on with pimping monkeys soon came to uh, uh, gorilla cage fighting. Uh, about the same rule applied. One banana um, was equivalent to about eight cents, and I would I was kind of the uh, the ringmaster when it came to um, condoning the fight. Who was fighting? It was a pretty crazy setup we had actually. Um, we put rice paper on a couple of the fences and uh, people could hear, oh boy, they could hear, but you know, it's a zoo. Uh, basically what happened is I actually started to film, World Star got a hold of it because, you know, out of instinct I just started screaming World Star. And uh, some of the monkeys started mimicking. So, um, you know, people would want to see the monkey exhibit and there would be two monkeys, uh, which were actually the lookouts. So. They weren't entertaining the crowd because they were standing here with uh, two paper towel rolls taped to each other looking out. And on top of that, we have a whole bunch of baboons, uh, gorillas, spider monkeys screaming uh, world star behind rice paper. So uh, they started to investigate on me. At the end of the investigation, the bust, they found $62,000 worth of bananas in a trailer. Um, 
Now that's a lot of bananas considering they're about 52 cents a pound. There's concentrated bananas, sun-dried bananas, Filipino baby bananas, aged bananas. I don't know how they did that. But there were bananas that got you high. There were bananas that got you drunk. And they're all labeled and packaged. They even had little crystal bananas. Those are dangerous because if you eat one little crystal banana and you get the potassium of four bananas, you could run a marathon without catching a cramp. So I basically got caught. A couple of the monkeys, I don't know who the monkeys were, they, uh, they snitched on me. And so uh, I was demoted, but I mean, that gig was pretty cool, I guess. My job in layman terms was to uh, break up the fights. I had a post in the center, centermost part of the uh, of the zoo. What's up, baby? And my job was to uh, listen out for fighting. Uh, it was really easy with the monkeys because they would start yelling world star. The pandas, they were quiet. The alligators, you just start hearing snapping. But mainly it was the crowds. You would just hear, oh my God, where is the zookeeper? But you know, I listened out for it. Any given eight hour shift, there'd be about maybe 20 to 40 fights. And the thing about it is you have to be tough enough to break up two gorillas and then two minutes later you get a call, the botanical butterfly exhibit. There'd be two butterflies fighting and you have to ever so gently pull them apart. I remember one of my first days, I just got done breaking up uh, two giraffes that was terrifying. All I had was a little golden retriever clamp thing that those old people get coffee cans with, as seen on TV, and I was just swinging it. Uh, giraffes really don't like shit, so on scene, I had to take a shit and then pinch it with a golden retriever and start waving it in between the giraffes. I don't know if you guys have ever seen giraffes fight, but I was in there. And then after that, you know, it's a zip line method. So you zip down, take care of the business, but you can't zip up. There's no such thing as a zip up line. So we had to run. We had to run back to our post. Ugh. Next thing you know, bam, koala bears. Two of them are fighting, okay? Instinctively, I got there and I forced a premature baby shit pinched it with my golden retriever and held it in the koala's faces. They just started waving it. Come to find out, they're just hugging. False alarm. Dumbass parents started, oh my god, where's the zoo caper? They're fighting. No, they're just hugging. And here I am waving a golden retriever shitted on stick, as seen on TV, in their face. The koala pairs filed a complaint. The lady filed a complaint because she saw my ass bent over. She could see the back of my nutsack. And now I'm not allowed in any animal cages with furry animals that weigh less than 50 pounds. Ain't that some shit. They took my bananas. $62,000 worth of bananas. So yeah, that was that. Alrighty, guys. Well, it's going to be a long day. I'm on for a double... And I didn't sleep last night, so see you guys on the flip side. That's kind of creepy. What's your name? Little girl. All right. Yeah. You can't. You can't. You can't see this. <laughs>